Good morning and welcome to Radiance Yoga Online. I'm Shannon and today I'm going to take you through an energizing morning flow to start your day. It'll be quick but invigorating. We'll begin standing and you don't need any props unless you have access to blocks or similar objects that you'd like to use. When you're ready, join me at the top of your mat. Placing your feet right underneath the hips, just take a second to bob into the knees a little bit, let your arms shake out, wiggle and adjust, maybe with little head rolls, shoulder rolls, so that you can land right here, grounded into your feet. Feel your toes lift and spread before you fan them down to the mat. And again, keep that soft bend in the knees as you settle, so you feel the weight disperse evenly in all the edges of your feet. Take a big breath in through the nose, fill the torso. Exhale through the mouth as you let go and you land right here, right now. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Now on a big inhale, sweep your arms all the way up overhead, any way you'd like to get there. Clasp the hands together and interlace all but your pointer fingers towards the ceiling. Now, from the front view, drop your shoulders away from your ears. So rather than shrugging up, wearing your shoulders like earrings, let them fall down. If that means a little bend in the elbow, that's okay. Squeeze the feet closer together and really press down into the mat. Stepping down into your left foot, take a big inhale. As you reach up and out of your left side, taking a big side bend. Focus is on energy reaching up and then over. Big breath in, big breath out. Return back to the center with a strong belly. Inhale as you reach up and out of your right side. Press down strong into the right foot. Create more space in those right ribs. Big inhale, lifting higher. Exhale. Return back to the center. Now, big inhale, stretch up, maybe lift your heart, take a baby back bend. As you exhale, cactus your arms, your palms face forward, strong belly as you push your hips back into chair pose. Big inhale as we rise, touch your palms, maybe look up at the hands. Exhale, cactus the arms, open across the collarbone and drive the hips back to chair. Inhale again as we rise. Exhale to cactus the arms, open the heart. Take a big inhale as we hold here. Exhale as you dive into your forward fold. Feel free to bend the knees or use blocks under the fingertips. Now be nice and loose through the head, neck, and shoulders. You can just let your arms fall to the floor, fall to blocks, or cross your hands to opposite elbows. If it's accessible to you, you could also step, step your feet right on top of the palms. And then wiggle your toes here, giving your wrists a little massage. And let the head be heavy as you take another breath. Ah, you're just landing in this day. Now on your next inhale, step off of the feet, find fingertips on blocks or on the floor, and take a flat back. Heel toe your feet as wide as your mat, so your heels are right on the edge, your toes might be just falling off the mat. Sit your hips back as you open your knees and lift your heart into a long spine. Hands grounded on the floor or on block, step down into your left foot really strong and step your right foot back to lizard lunge. Reach long through the spine. If you want to, drop that knee. And lastly, if you want to, open up your left hand to your thigh. Reach to the crown of your head as you exhale, ring the right ribs towards 
that left inner thigh, taking a lizard twist. Take another big breath wherever you are, just starting to get into the hips. And then slowly unwind back to the center. Tuck those right toes underneath. Ground your palms and grip the mat with your fingertips and step your left foot back to downward facing dog. You can bend the knees as heavy as you like here, pressing the ribs to your thighs before you start to drop the heels down to the mat. Just take a big inhale as you arrive, move however you like to. And on your next breath, inhale as you roll forward to plank and drop your knees down to tabletop. Now we're gonna inhale and extend that right leg back. Point the toes and bend the knee. Inhale as you reach your toes up towards the ceiling, squeeze the glutes, drop the belly, open the heart. Exhale as you tuck your knee to your nose, strong belly crunch. Inhale as you scorpion, lift that thigh, squeeze the glutes. Exhale as your belly pulls up, drive down into the floor to crunch. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Now inhale as you place that foot back on the floor behind you. Turn your left foot off of the floor and open up to a modified side plank or step that left leg out, scissor or stack the feet for side plank. Big breath in, big breath out. Come back to the center, hands under the shoulders, toes long. Now with your knees or from your toes, lean your chest forward, exhale, take one chaturanga. If you like, you don't have to. Inhale, slide yourself to cobra or up dog. Exhale as you tuck the toes, lift your belly, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Ah, one breath. And on your next inhale, lift up on your toes, look forward, step, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Find your forward fold again. <sighs> inhale as we sit the hips back, look forward, rise tall to stand. Exhale as the hands melt down, any style you like, to Tadasana. Inhale as your arms lift, your palms may touch at the top as you take a back bend, step your feet together. Exhale, your hips staying back, your arms cactus, palms forward, we're just holding. Big breath in, big breath out, forward fold. Heel toe those feet, as wide as your mat, heels on, maybe the toes trickling off of the mat. Ground down into your right foot. As you send your hips back, lengthen your spine looking forward, and step your left foot back, to your lizard lunge. You can stay active and lifted, press back through your left heel, or drop that left knee down, sinking into the front of your left hip. Stay right down on the center, or ground the left hand, and take your right hand to your right thigh. Twist your left ribs, wringing out the belly like a towel. Big breath in, just starting to wake everything up. Big breath out. Coming back to the center, ground your palms, grip the mat with your fingertips. Tuck your left toes and slide your right foot back, downward facing dog, aim your tailbone up and back, gaze looking just at the toes. Inhale, slowly roll yourself out to high plank. Exhale, drop the knees down and walk it back to your tabletop position. This time, your left leg is going to aim back. Point the toes, try to keep the hips as even as possible. Bend the knee as you inhale, open the heart, squeeze the glute, lift that thigh. Exhale, knee to nose, press down into the floor and round. Inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. Exhale, knee to nose, round. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale to round. Now inhale as you extend that leg back, place the toes on the floor. 
Open your right foot off of the mat and then open up to a modified side plank. Your choice if you want to kick it out to scissor or stack the feet. Big breath in. Grip the mat, you got this. Exhale, come back to the center. Now knees or toes, chaturanga, lean that heart forward. You can skip this if you like. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Strong belly, long spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> now inhale, lift up on your tiptoes, look forward. Step, step or hop to the top of your mat. And exhale, fold. Let your head, neck, and shoulders relax. Now we should feel heat in the body. Notice that. When you're ready, take a big inhale, sit your hips back. Rise to stand. And then exhale as your hands drop to Tadasana any style. We're gonna keep moving right into our flow. Step your feet together, big inhale as your palms touch. Maybe we look up and take a baby back bend. Exhale, cactus your arms to your chair pose. Strong belly, hips aiming back, open the heart. Big inhale, exhale, forward fold. Keeping your feet in line with your hips this time. Sit your hips back, look forward, and inhale, step your right leg back to your lunge. Now we're gonna ground that right hand on a block or on the floor. Take your left hand to your hip and ring your right ribs out towards the left inner thigh. If it's okay for your shoulders and your neck, open up that arm, spread the fingers, and gaze up the hand. Press back through your right heel and really push the back of your leg up towards the ceiling. <sighs> when you're ready, that left arm's gonna come down. First option is you can take the elbow to the thigh for a modified side angle or your hand on the inside of your ankle. We'll spin your right heel down, press to the outer edge of your feet, and open up your right arm to extend the side angle. Again, if it's more accessible for you, elbow to thigh. Long line down the right side of the body. <sighs> Big inhale, reach that right arm back. Stay low in your left leg. Reverse warrior. Exhale as you reach forward, your right hand to your hip. Your left hand comes to a blocker to the floor as you slide it up to your half moon. <sighs> reach actively through both legs. Push through this right heel. You might stack your hips and shoulders and turn your gaze to the right to challenge the balance even more. <sighs> Another big breath. Right hand to your hip. Start to bend your left knee. Slowly tap the right foot back. And now as you inhale, take five-pointed star to the right long edge of your mat. Exhale as you sink down to goddess. Now bring your hands to your thighs. Dip your right shoulder in, look up over the left as you press those thighs apart. Enjoy that nice opening stretch. <sighs> And then big inhale, lift back to five-pointed star. Now we're gonna turn your right toes and turn to face the back of your mat. Find a high crescent lunge. So we're dropping that left knee down towards the floor. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Ah, maybe a little deeper. Now slowly. Your hands come down to frame your left foot. Set yourself up in your lunge on the opposite side. Ground your left hand down to a blocker down to the floor. And then your right arm can come to your hip or open up palm to ceiling. For palm, fingers to ceiling, spread the palm. And if it's okay for your neck, gaze up the arm. Press back to your left heel, press the back of your thigh to the ceiling. One more breath. Bring out the belly. Now that right arm can come down to your thigh for a lifted extended side angle or hand down to the floor on the inside of the foot. 
Drop your left heel inward, press into the outer edge of your foot, and then open up that left arm to your extended side angle. If you need to, you can be a little higher. Still sink into the hips, keep that right knee right over the ankle. Long side body, down the left. And then when you're ready, reach that left arm back. Take a big inhale, stay low in the leg. And reach up to your reverse warrior, out of that right side. Exhale as you come forward, left hand to your hip. Reach your right hand for a blocker for the floor. And lift that left leg long. Press through your foot like you're putting a footprint on the wall. If you can, stack the hips, stack the shoulders. Turn your gaze to the left. Challenge your balance. Reach out of your side body, not falling into the right. Nice and long. And now left hand to your hip. Reach your left foot back. Gently tap and rise up to that five-pointed star. Sink your hands down to your thighs, knees open wide. Drop your left shoulder in. Look over the right. Ah. Inhale, rise to five-pointed star. Exhale, we're gonna pivot back to the top of your mat. Turn up onto the right toes, micro bend the knee as you drop into your high crescent. <sighs> big breath in, big breath out. Both hands melt down to the floor. Ground your palms, grip the mat, step it back to plank. Choose to stay here, take down dog or child, or first take your flow from your knees or your toes. Inhale, cobra or up. Exhale, downward facing. Hmm. Feel the breath, feel the heat. Feel your mind and body invigorated for the day ahead. When you feel that energy, that circulation, that heat, now drop the knees big toes come together and we settle back to child's pose. Now you experience the opposite of that heat, that effort. We allow the breath to slow. You reward yourself for coming to your mat this morning. Now we slowly walk your hands back to your knees. Squeeze the knees together as you rise up to kneel and then take a seat as your legs come down the mat. Your toes and your feet tap the floor. Your hands can come to your thighs and we drop the shoulders as we lift the sternum, the heart, the chin, nice and tall. Keep the length in the spine as you lift one Maybe both feet squeeze the inner thighs together. You can keep this hold or we can let go. Okay, big inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hollow out the belly and canoe. Reach your shoulders and your feet away from each other. Inhale, we lengthen, we lift through the heart, squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, hollow belly, push your toes away from you. Inhale, lift and lengthen, you got this. Exhale, hollow belly, canoe, and then let it all go. Shoulders, arms, fingers, hips, legs, toes. Again, you feel that pulse of energy, that readiness, that invigorated feeling for the day ahead. And you feel that contrast now of turning off the light switch. Just as much as we need to be energized and invigorated, we need to have periods of rest in our day. And it's a skill to be able to oscillate between those periods of high energy and then periods of rest and replenishment. Right now, you're in rest, 
you turn off, relax the jaw, soften the muscles of the face. Bring your awareness to your body falling into your mat. The earth beneath you rising up to meet your body. Now you can feel free to stay here as long as you like or as long as your morning allows. And I thank you so much for starting your day with me. Namaste.